What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Nashler Trucker. Go ahead and grab yourself a bag of popcorn, grab yourself a cold drink, kick your legs up, and let's get ready for the live action that we have for today. Alrighty, guys, I have just gotten off on my exit. Uh, I'm going to stop at this Flying J here. There's a Denny's. I'm also gonna eat here as well and do a 30 minute break. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to properly slide your tandems on your trailer. For a lot of you guys that don't know, or for a lot of the viewers that aren't really into trucking that much, yes, you can actually move those tires that are on the trailer. And I'm about to show you guys the best way to do it and the fastest way and the most professional way possible. So stay tuned. place where there's a lot of space at so I can do this for you guys and it seems like oh brilliant look at this whole right side is wide open for us perfect let's go ahead and go down here because the Denny's is right to the right side I'm trying to make it convenient for myself as well all right let's go with this spot right here there's nobody behind me on this one so nice when there's no trucks around you can literally back in anywhere that you want always turn on your hazards when you're backing up in a semi to let everybody else know that you are backing up or you're doing something they don't need to know what you're doing but you're doing something and as far as right now we are just backing up into an open spot is first you want to pull out your trailer brake this is your trailer brake this is your tractor brake you want to pull this out and you will hear the pressure of the air release in the trailer I'm gonna go ahead and pull it in the same time and I'm gonna open the door so you guys can hear it in the rear all right next thing is you're going to safely step out Sometimes it's a little tough because of this bumper here. All right. So, right here, there's a little tooth that comes out that locks your trailer into place. And there's one right here as well. So that's actually pulled in right now. Now I'm gonna go into the truck. I'm gonna set up the tripod for you guys so you guys can see. Alrighty how guys, got the camera all set up. Make sure you're watching this part right here. I will actually slide these all the way to the back and then I'm gonna slide them all the way to the front for you guys. Alrighty guys, I wanna let you know if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button as I'm doing this right now. Also, turn your bell notifications on so you know when the next video is coming out. Listen up for the clicks on the slide back. That's what I'm looking for. There it is. That's exactly the sound that you want to hear when you're sliding your tandems forward or backwards. Alrighty guys, I have officially slid my tandems for you. Now you know 
that trailer tires can go forward or backwards. Also, I wanna give you guys a heads up. Anytime you're at a pickup or a delivery, companies will request you to slide your tandems forward and backwards. For that reason is because when a, when a forklift goes in and out with the load or with whatever product they're loading you with, the trailer likes to bounce if your trailers are not pulled back, if your trailer tires are not pulled back all the way to the bumper. So a lot of companies, they request that uh, because you know either you'll have product that can fall off while you're getting loaded or unloaded, they could damage your trailer. You don't want that kind of stuff. You know, you don't want to be worrying about any of that stuff. And also, I don't want my company of having the hassle of, you know, telling me, you know, you should have slid your tandems back when, uh, you know, the company requested you to do so. So, I tried to, like I said in my previous video, do everything 110% while I'm on the road. That being said, um, I also want to let you guys know that those tandems. When you slide them forward and backward, what they do is they, they distribute weight throughout the trailer. So let's say I have a whole trailer, a full load, right? And I'm hauling uh, strawberries, right? Strawberry loads are very heavy. And in the U uh, United States Division of Transportation, you are not allowed to carry more than 80,000 pounds. Uh, basically, you cannot weigh more than 80,000 pounds with the whole trailer the whole truck, full tank of fuel, and all of the, the whole nine yards, right? So what those tandems do is they actually distribute weight. So if you, let's say on your steer tires, let's say if you are overweight on your steer tires, if you slide those tandems like closer to the cab, it will actually uh, relieve some weight off of your steer tires and your drive tires. Now, if you're heavy on your trailer, right, what do you have to do then? Well, then you slide your tandems back towards the bumper of the trailer. So that alleviates the weight, and that's how you distribute weight and shift it throughout the whole vehicle itself. So I don't know if any of you guys knew that, that are brand new to the channel, but let me know down in the comments below if you knew that or not. So as far as right now, I will take you guys out and, uh, I'm gonna go have some Denny's because let me tell you something, your boy is hungry. I have only had a shake as of this morning, so I am starving, stay tuned. I just wanna go ahead and show you guys those pins that popped out. So you can see the one in the back is popped out all the way, right there, right there. And then the other one is right here. And this one has also popped out as well. So that means that your trailer is locked into place. Now let's go have some food. I got my food. Let's see what we got. Honey mustard, ranch, vegetables. That's the sauce that comes with the burger. Bacon, burger, fries. Alrighty guys, you guys are at my favorite part of the video. I am stuffing my face as you can see. I wanted to give you guys a heads up. Stay tuned till the end of the video. I recorded a clip of a trailer that was completely wrecked. Uh, it was in like two pieces and it was getting towed. So you're all tanked up. All I gotta do is stop and get some fuel somewhere. Gotta find a good price. But big shout out to the Denny's in Resaca, Georgia on exit 320. And specifically, I wanna give a big shout out to Wendy, who was my server. Took care of me very good. And I took, her, took care of her as well. So I'm getting back in my truck right now. And we are gonna be on the way to Ohio. Hey guys, we are at our delivery. We're gonna go run through everything I talked about earlier. Uh, these, this company is requesting us to slide our tandems back, so let's go ahead and get to it. I mentioned this in the previous um, clip of me talking about how to slide the tandems, but there's a little valve that you have to pull out to release those teeth that I was talking about. And it's right there, it sits right there. So sorry about my crusty old finger, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out and we're gonna watch this tooth here. We're gonna watch this tooth go in.
I want to give a big shout out to this company. We come here almost every other week. Um, if you're looking at the green light, it's going to turn red once I bump the dock. Uh, basically, from this point on, the forklift driver is going to drop the ramp on my trailer and he is going to start unloading me. So let's get to it, baby. guys we are at the point of that video where it is time to talk I am currently sitting at about 54 subscribers go ahead and like share and subscribe the, on the channel when I get to my first 500 subscribers I will be doing a giveaway also if you have any questions in regards of trucking or anything that's relatable to trucking go ahead and email me at nashthetrucker at gmail.com. I'm gonna go ahead and post that in the description down below. Also, I really wanna say thank you so much for watching the video. Stick around because I still yet owe you guys a video of that trailer that was completely wrecked. I mean, it was in two pieces. I was driving and I'm like, what is that? I couldn't tell and I just thought it was a tow truck pulling a trailer, but it was a wrecked trailer and then there was another tow truck in front of that one pulling the other half of the trailer. It was it was scary, honestly. But like I said, go ahead and subscribe, like, share, comment down below, anything that your heart desires. I really appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are staying.